Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on this very, very, very first episode of the Traffic Light of 2021. Beautiful one, why? Because we won with an amazing performance yesterday versus Milan, we won 3-1 with a brace of Federico Chiesa after two, a beautiful assist from Paolo La Joya Dybala and then an amazing killer a finisher after a run from Dejan Kulusevski. Weston McKennie was able to close the game 3-1 we won it at Giuseppe Meazza stadium from Milan so I'm super happy super happy for the people that doesn't know at the moment the concept of the traffic light is instead of giving ratings with 5, 6, 6.5 what we are doing is that we order the players from red yellow and green red is the players that didn't have a really great performance unfortunately then we have the yellow one who had an average performance some things to do better some things to keep because they were good and then we finish with the green colors the best for performance what we do is that we speak uh, mainly about the 11 starters we integrate some significant players from the bench and then we speak also about Pirlo the coach so stay on the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel put a maximum of like we will do this together I have an amazing news because we won 3-1, because it was a really decisive game, what I want to do is not giving any red light. Why? Because there was nobody that had a red light performance. And this is already an amazing news. Because yesterday we won 3-1 and we did it convincing. A beautiful, beautiful game of Juventus with things that had to be better, but nobody deserved the red light. So we start immediately with the yellow light. Who do I want to put in the yellow light is Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, I told you not a bad game otherwise he would have had a red but a yellow yellow why because he did some great things like uh, occupying of being keeping actually the defenders from Milan two three defenders busy on the left side what had created a bit more space on the right side and you know the three goals came from that side so we have to say that Cristiano Ronaldo had his job and he did his job but he was not in the spotlight at certain moments of the game he was frustrated about that and he disappeared about the, uh, from the game also the fact that he was angry on Chiesa that was yesterday in a magic moment he was angry about it and he let him know at a certain moment after Chiesa was shooting to the goal things that we don't really want to see so for me Cristiano Ronaldo in the yellow color today and then another one in the yellow color is uh, Frabotta. Frabotta that started quite well, 20 minutes uh, giving uh, offensive support, then he disappeared, he stayed in the back of uh, Juventus giving solidity in the defense, what is great, he lost a lot of balls but beautiful performance for a player that actually didn't have the trust anymore from the coach Andrea Pirlo, he disappeared and probably it was his most important game of his career probably. With another one in the yellow uh, light is Bentancur, why Bentancur? Because because he did beautiful things and he did disgusting things. The disgusting thing is that at the first minute and the seventh minute he lose a ball, a killing ball that could have been an amazing gift for AC Milan. And this kind of thing is not permitted. If you enter a game that sloppy, this is really not okay from Bentancur. He was about to receive and probably he deserved that the second yellow card that would have given him a red, a red card that could have put the team in a real difficult moment on the other side the really beautiful thing that Bentancur did was he was again a leader there in the midfield where we won it because Shanaloglu never saw the ball and this is also a benefit and a merit of Rodrigo Bentancur we continue with the yellow one the bit more better yellow one is Bonucci Bonucci that did a really great job yesterday in defense and then Ramsey also Ramsey that was about to be in the green light but right after the 1-0 of Chiesa he also lost an incredible ball giving it to Milan that could have uh, uh, taken us to the draw to the 1-1 and also there Ramsey I was not happy about that for the rest Ramsey was able to dialogate and be the link between that midfield and the attack 
continuing now with the red uh, sorry with the green light players we have Danilo Danilo more and more leader of that defense and I'm happy to see Danilo growing yesterday I saw some comments of people that were saying that we don't praise Danilo enough to be honest what I'm seeing and what I'm reading from all the supporters is that everyone is happy about Danilo I believe that he missed like or he played badly two or three games this season on more than 20 games so Danilo absolutely green light happy about Danilo we continue with McKenny McKenny I put him there why because he didn't play all the game he played 30 minutes but uh, 10 minutes on the right side where he was not really impactful and then Pirlo changed him to asking to uh, McKenny to use his best skill his skills to actually go up front penetration infiltration he did that amazing and then he was there really well placed to take the ball of Kulusevski and to score amazing 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 uh, Weston McKenny with a big smile we continue with uh, Matthias De Ligt Matthias De Ligt yesterday I was happy because the two last game he was not at his standard at his level even if he still played well but we expect the best from Matthias and yesterday a few anticipations where you say the guy is immense beautiful performance of him a wall happy to have him and we continue with Rabio before going to the for last one let's see if there will be surprises or not but Rabio yesterday he did amazingly well amazing he was there uh, giving a defensive support being actually a giant in that midfield uh, he was on all the balls really beautiful uh, performance we also see that the guy he was able to rest for the last two games and he had a lot of energy well done Adrien and we continue with the four ones I speak about uh, before going into the podium about Andrea Pirlo amazing because uh, he deserve it he deserve because it's not easy to have to change the plans of the games one time with Alexandro the day after with uh, Quadrado not knowing who will be actually there to play we didn't know so uh, Andrea Pirlo did a really beautiful job and also the changes that he made uh, subbing out uh, Dybala because we knew that he had some fever on Monday put him out and also Chiesa because he was slightly injured beautiful change it with the duo that was able to put the 3-1 in Kulusevski Weston McKenney and we go to the podium number three for the first time we have Paolo Dybala and I am super happy to see him there he did a lot of great things it is still not the Paolo Dybala of uh, the end of last season where he was the MVP but what a beautiful performance that first First assist for Chiesa is a bijou is something amazing and then the, that first control beautiful he played a bit more up front so we know and we see that Pirlo asked him to stay a bit more up front and he did it he did it with a big smile he was not happy to go out at the 60th but I think it was a great choice Paolo step by step and we need you like you were yesterday well done Paolo Dybala we finish with the two first position Chesney Chesney that I am always asking one miracle per game at least yesterday he did even more uh, if it was not for Chesney maybe we would not have won that game what a nice goalkeeper and for the first time I was uh, able to hear his voice because uh, normally I hear his voice in post uh, game conferences or pre game conferences now this time I was hearing him on the field and that is actually what I asked him and I finished with the last one with the number one Federico Chiesa not a surprise probably praised by everyone scoring with the left foot scoring with the right foot the guy uh, he hit the post one time and then an amazing shoot uh, on Donnarumma uh, wow what can I say a player that I personally didn't want at Juventus Paratici he said to me Giuseppe shut up I know what I'm doing he signed him and he did really great the guy he is a Juventino you feel you feel the love to play for our beautiful short uh, shirt yesterday also with the black and white short he did amazingly well I'm super happy about Federico I had I hope he continue like that but not only the goals were amazing also the fact that 
he stopped Teo Hernandez because he was continuing and keeping to push him to make sure that Teo Hernandez was not able to uh, unleash his offensive skill. I'm sorry for my cat that want to participate on the camera. It is what it is, guys. So this was it for me. Let me know. Let me know if you agree with the lights or not. Don't forget, it is a game. It is not something super serious. It's a game and this is my opinion. So be polite in your comments because I know that probably this video will do some polemics uh it is what it is and it's based on one game thank you always forza juve